What's up peeps and welcome back to Sorel Plays um, Homemade cleansing and homemade mask today You can see I need it because I've got a few things going on with my face today And as I mentioned before I've got the increased melanin in my face um, And it's only going to get worse in the summer so I've got some tips to help you with that today um, Also acne, I have a horrible spot on my neck Small ones, but we need to attack them before they get into a right old mess. So let's start with making the cleansing product first. A small bowl. We've got some honey. Use um, runny honey for this. I like this um, set honey. We've got a lemon. And we've got some brown sugar. And a little bit of coffee. And we've got a little jar so you can keep a little bit in the fridge for next time you want to do it as well sorry about my wrinkled top i've just put something on for now so i can get to my neck as well oh sorry about my fish tank buckets in the background right okay so we've got a little spoon we're gonna put a little bit of sugar like a flat one spoon of sugar we're gonna put one spoon of honey let me move this camera so you can see it better. Okay, so here it is. One spoon of sugar in the bowl. Brown sugar is better for this. Your set honey. This is going to exfoliate our face. And then, you know, you have those lemons like left over in the fridge or whatever with a tiny bit of squeeze left in it. That's all you need. You don't need to use a whole lemon or anything. So wash your face. Use a flannel. We're going to do that now. So with some hot water on your flannel, we're going to open up our pores first. So this is my flannel in a bowl of water from the kettle. It's soaked it all up, so you don't need too much. It's very hot. Be careful not to burn your face. Hot flannel, squeeze out the excess water. If it's hot, it means it's opening your pores. So I'm just going to put this on my face for a moment. Oh my god, that feels so nice. This is also recommended if you have sinus problems or things like abscesses. If you suffer with abscesses on your skin. I'm going to dip it again so that it's hot again. It's so relaxing. This also helps with eye problems. I have eye problems. I've got blepharitis in both my eyes, unfortunately. It does cool down pretty quick, especially in the winter. Let me take this off. You have to remember that the neck ages quicker than anything else because the skin on your neck is a lot thinner. The summer coming up, I don't intend on staying in. So I will be in the sun. Not sunbathing like crazy or anything. But every little bit of sun makes my melanin worse, so... If you've got problems with um, increased melanin later on in the video, which is going to be the mask part of it. Right, we're going to start putting this on our face now. All these bits of coffee are falling off, but don't worry about it. We've mixed them into the paste. So yeah, I'm going to have little brown bits on my face throughout this uh, procedure. It really feels nice and it smells so good. I'm going to take these um, earphones off and not talk for a while. Bit difficult for me, but yep. Yeah. So I'm going to look like I've got loads of beauty spots. It's all about how we're going to look after we've done this, not during. We're going to leave this on for 10 minutes and come back and flannel it off. So more hot water on the flannel. Because we want to keep the pores open. It's dried. And we're just going to dab the flannel on. Before we start rubbing it off. Thank you. 
For the mask, we're going to break an egg. I'm trying to do this with one hand is not the best. You just need the egg white and just a bit of milk. I'm using just normal full fat milk. I like Cravendale. Tiny little bit in there. Mix it up. And we're going to use a cotton wool pad to apply it. on until it dries. I love honey. Mm -hmm. Ooh. I love milk and the egg yolk. I'm totally going to eat it. Mm. Hopefully I don't get salmonella. We pump in protein over here. So, uh, as you can see, I totally can't move my face. I look 30 years older. Okay, it's time to change that. We're going to use a little bit of cold water because egg will cook even more than it already is on our face right now if you use hot water. So we're going to just lightly dab it and rub it a little bit as we take it off. with really cold water from the tap now I'm just gonna put the flannel on my face just for a few seconds so that my face gets really cold Woo! oh my god that's so cold how much better does my skin look than it did at the beginning of this video? We're not finished yet. We're going to put some coconut oil on our face now. I've got 100% pure coconut oil. I've just bought this. And we're just going to moisturize our face with it. Pores are closed. Totally. A tiny bit of coconut oil including eyebrows and lashes and you can see how elastic my skin looks after all that don't forget your lips we often neglect our lips and chest area and my hands are absolutely freezing now, which is actually good for your face. 
and it will help all of those pores close. And that's it. We're done. You can do this once a week. You can do it once a month if you don't want to do it too often. Or just whenever your face feels a bit like it needs a little pick-me-up. How much better does my skin look? Thanks for watching, guys. Um, I'm going to do a hair mayonnaise video right after this. So come back if you have frizzy, ridiculously dry. Hang on. Frizzy, bushy, thick, dry, knotty. Yeah. I'll see you on the next video. Peace out.